Welcome everyone to this Legion Tower Defense 2 video guide, Legion in short. Today we're going to discuss the Ogre we can see here. Like the Witch, the Ogre costs 200 Mythium, but this time it's a melee unit dealing impact damage, which is quite unique. Brood is the only other one that kind of solves this position. For this price, we get a quite tanky mercenary. You can see it here. It is almost 3000 HP plus another ability that is dealing extra damage. Every third attack, the Ogre is going to deal 125 extra impact damage, which resets on kill. So, especially smaller mercenaries like tier 1s or tier 2 units might trigger the side effect and get slammed down in one hit after another, which is awesome. But when is actually the right time to use the Ogre? I want to tell you in one fast example. I've built up some potential targets for an Ogre here. First of all, obviously we have a stronger mercenary, um, ah, not a stronger mercenary, we do have a stronger fortified tank. In this case, the Kingpin, it could as well be a Golem, a Banana Bunk, and Ogre is actually best within like late early game wait seven nine towards mid game 12 13 14 ogre can be perfect so in those cases ogre against fortified armor works wonder the later the game goes the more likely it is that you might actually want to send a four eye into units like a kingpin mm. but there's obviously the exception that your opponent does have sea serpents and coilers in this case, Ogre is always the better choice because you don't want your four eyes to get sniped. I think that's quite easy so far. Keep in mind that you should still um, look if the Ogre is actually a good send. It, would you actually send a Ogre against those targets if it's like the early game? Are they fortified armor, for example, or are they arcane armor? Then it's fine to send the Ogre. But if they're, for example, swift, you don't really want to send an ogre here. The second example that I already teased was smaller units. Here I prepared some tier 1s. Works perfectly fine with tier 2 units as well, at least with most of them. The ogre is just going to get there, get his extra damage hit, and then just going to kill them one by one with one strike, get the reset on the extra damage, and it's going to kill them as well. Just make sure to lead the ogre to the right side. If you don't really know how that works, go check out my splitting guide, but here a short refresh. The ogre is a melee unit pathing within the wave. The same rules as we have for tanks will apply for those units that path in the wave. Since the ogre is the second highest cost mercenary that passes within the wave, you can be free to send a mimic pack leader, a mole, or even a brood um, to go with the ogre and lead it to the right side. For the exact rules, go check out the splitting guide again. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned some stuff about the ogre. I'm really looking forward to see your opinion down in the comments below. A lot of luck for you in your ranked games.